Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi. And in today's video, I thought I would talk to you guys, as the title says, about my current obsessions. Like, literally, the idea for this video just came from the top of my head and that I was sitting thinking about how I'm so obsessed with X, Y, Z, which you're going to hear about now. And I was like, might as well tell YouTube because... I love you guys and we talk about everything in the comments, we talk about it in the vid, so we might as well catch up on what my current obsessions are. If I say current obsessions one more time, hit me. No, please don't hit me. So if you guys are interested to hear what they are, then please keep watching and if you like this video and you want me to do a more regular current obsessions, then just give it a thumbs up, let me know in the comments and subscribe so you make me very, very, very happy. Mwah. Okay. So this isn't like a typical current obsessions video in that um, one, I'm totally comfy in my dad's jumper on my bed and I'm wearing his jumper because he's in Iran and I miss him, miss you daddy. Um, and two, I'm not going to be talking about like makeup, clothes and stuff like that as in I will. Am I? There's one piece of makeup in this but it's basically like my general obsessions, like things that I love or think about or want or stuff like that so let's start with number one number one on my list of current obsessions is justin bieber and hayley baldwin getting engaged as in justin bieber's been my crush since i was like 13 like celebrity crush and yes i am 22 years old and you guys might be like seppi you are way too old for justin bieber but no i love his music i just like him. I don't know. I don't know why I like Beeps. And I really like Hayley Baldwin. I feel like she's a good match for him. And I just want something like that. Like, he's just so obsessed with her. Like, I want someone to be, like, that obsessed with me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm totally obsessed with them. I think they're so cute together. Like, I just, yeah, I, I want someone who, like, loves me the way Beeps loves her and the way she loves him. Um, and, like, literally all the photos that I save on my Instagram saved, I'm going to show you guys is like them. Literally the last photo I saved was Hayley. This is the third photo that I saved. How cute are they? Oh my god. This video of them. Oh my god. I love this video of them. Like I just think that it's the cutest thing in the world ever. Wouldn't you be obsessed with that? Like okay maybe you are not. Um, But like just someone who just wants to hug you like that. It's just the cutest thing ever and like the the message that he wrote to her like announcing their engagement on instagram just it's just so cute like as in i just feel like they're meant to be number two on my list of obsessions for october and to be honest this is my obsession like 24 7 and it is the starbucks soya lattes i get a medium soya latte from starbucks at least once a day in cold weather and i just love it like what can i say i ha add one candorel sweetener and that is just my go-to drink i don't feel like i can wake up i don't feel like i'm efficient unless i've had one they taste perfect and it gets me pumped you know it makes me feel good i have like this like app on my phone called grateful where every day like you write a list of things that you're grateful for and like when I have a Starbucks I always write that on my list like I'm grateful for my Starbucks so yeah you don't need to be grateful for the most biggest things in the world I love them they make me feel better obsession number three of October is big furry coats I love big furry coats um I just feel like they keep you warm they are fashionable and you probably saw me wearing one in my be my first Persian concert vlog because I feel like the weather is picking up towards the colder climates and they're just so fashionable and elegant and classy and I just love the way it looks and I love how warm they keep you and I just feel like a million bucks when I wear one. Number four on my current list of obsessions, you guys, I'm all, I've been obsessed with these for like a year but like now i'm just even more super obsessed and it's crystals and they're literally right in front of me because i keep them in front of my window uh sill um so these ones are rose quartz and i have four rose quartz 
and rose quartz just brings you like love and like good energy and when i say love I, it doesn't necessarily like oh romantic love and stuff like that like you can look into what each stone brings but i feel like it brings me positive like loving energy like not just romantic loving energy if that makes sense so i love these and i have four of them because i love them so much i have more this one clears negative energy this one is meant to like heal relationships and like any sort of thing that's not damaged but it's like a healing stone basically um so yeah i use this a lot well i use all of them i love crystals and this is citrine and it brings you wealth and again it doesn't necessarily mean monetary wealth so i um hold value to um wealth as not just money as in money is one domain of wealth i i love these crystals they make me feel so good i don't know how to explain it it's like i don't um don't get me wrong I'm, i don't like worship crystals i don't know if people do that um i don't know um i just feel like when i see them i don't know if it's the crystals themselves or my mindset but it reminds me to have these certain energies and focus on a certain like positivity or a certain outlook so yeah maybe it's like a psychological thing more than anything but i just i feel so much better when i ever since i've got them and i've had them for about a year but i'm just super obsessed with them like recently i always like was obsessed with them but coming back from holidays and stuff you kind of forget but yeah i've recently just reconnected with that whole crystal side of me so my fifth obsession for this past month has been the gym now you might say oh seps like you always work out regularly if you've like been following me for some time or whatever but actually i had a big gap in summer um so i went away for a long time and then my trainer went away after me and i was a bit lazy so i've only properly started going back to the gym for the past month and only since the past couple of weeks have i tried to up how much i go so i went twice a week um two weeks ago last week i went uh, three times and this week i've aimed for four times so i've already been so i already went sunday monday tuesday i didn't go yesterday which is wednesday um but if i go um today and saturday or sunday that should be four times so i'm so obsessed with going it makes me feel so good and it kicks me to eat healthier and ever since i've been doing that i just feel like even my mum says like your body like looks in such better shape already like just from eating healthy like I can't explain to you guys i'm not 100 percent like clean eater diet freak whatever like i had harry bows like almost like half a pack of tang fastics like two nights ago but like other than that i've basically just been eating healthy um so not um any like heavy carbs or very fatty foods or fast foods or anything like that so i feel so much better and i have so much more energy and the gym makes me feel so positive and so happy and in london if any of you guys are from england or somewhere with gloomy weather when the weather starts going downhill um people's moods start to go downhill as well so i saw that a lot last year when i worked in gp um in that like january time as well um or february time when the weather was super cold everyone came in with a bit of like depression and um, you know low mood so I feel like this definitely helps to combat especially the change in climate the end of summer exercise helps to combat any sort of change in mood or negativity that could bring you about and it brings you like this rush of endorphins that make you feel good and and health benefits so yeah been obsessed with going gym recently my sixth obsession um for October is something that I got not even a week ago and it has changed my life in terms of habits to the point where i have to recommend it to you guys um i'm i was going to mention it in a vlog but i'll just mention it in this video seeing as it seems more convenient it is this water bottle from um polar gear i got this from polar gear in phoenix well not polar gear but just you know the water bottle section of phoenix in bright cross but i'm sure you can get it off the polar gear website or something similar and it's basically a water bottle and the water bottle has one of these straws on it and then on the side i don't know how well you guys can see because it's see-through it has these markers for time on the side to tell you like every hour how much you should have drank and this bottle is 750 mils so it expects you to complete this twice to have drunk one and a half liters in a day and when i tell you just by having this i have like surpassed 
one and a half liters of water a day easily because it is so convenient you literally lift up the straw like you could be doing something on your laptop you could be studying you could be watching tv and you'll like in no time have finished a whole bottle of water so if you're like me and you find it really difficult to drink water like regularly like to remind yourself and even when you do drink oh it, it just tastes like water then these one of these will really really help you to get your water intake higher Drinking more water has been excellent for my skin. It has been helping with bloating and it helps with weight loss as well. So if you guys want help with any of those things, I really recommend getting one of these bottles and trying to get your one and a half liters in because this life changing. Six, we're on number seven. So number seven on my list of obsessions this October is this scarf from Off-White. So, I don't know if you guys watch, um, oh yeah, my net a haul vlog in summer. Um, I got this at the end of summer from net a I saw it on the website when I was getting these trainers that I wanted, so I just grabbed it as well because I thought it's so cute. And I feel like the colour is just so cool and seeing as the weather's getting colder, I feel like this is so cool to style over like a plain black bomber jacket, like over plain black outfits. I feel like this is definitely like a statement piece and this is backwards, but you guys get my gist number eight on my list of obsessions is this arabic song someone played for me a few weeks back and it's a love song and i believe it's by an iraqi singer um so let me play it for you guys <laughs> It's called uh, Yadik Biras and um, it's by Noor Al Zain and Muhammad Al Faris. I really like the song. I think it's really cute and it's romantic and I just like it a lot. So if you guys listen to it, maybe you'll become obsessed with it like I am. Number nine on my list of obsessions for this month. I should probably have said right at the start that I have 10. <laughs> like, you guys were like, how bloody long is this list? There is 10, okay? Um, oh shoot, where is it gone? <gasps> Did I drop it? Found it. Um, it is this lip liner, which is basically almost finished, called Sandstorm by NYX. I get, I'm wearing it right now all over my lips. I get so many questions about what lip liner I'm wearing every time I wear this. This and soft spoken, everyone always asks me, what lip liner are you wearing in the comments? So yeah, I love this lip liner. I've probably been wearing it for like the past month. Um, I just love the NYX like nudie color lip liners and yeah, soft spoken, um, sandstorm and London. These are all like a few of my faves. I like Nude Suede Shoes by NYX as well. And I like um, just Nude. They have really good lip liners. They're affordable. They have long wear and they're good quality. They don't break easily. So I definitely recommend NYX lip liners. And those are the colors that I'm obsessed with that I wear. And we're on to the last of our list of 10 obsessions for this autumn obsession list yep you guys probably have to take 10 shots if you were taking shots every time i said obsessed um <laughs> so the last on my list of current obsessions i can't fully reveal to you yet but it's a secret project that i've been working on that i'm so excited about it's coming soon in like the next month hopefully and yeah it's something that i've always wanted to do and so excited to be finally like getting the courage to do it if you guys have any idea you want to guess what it is guess down in the comments i'll be so excited to read and see how many of you can get it right but um i just wanted to end this video on a positive note that you know make sure that you always have something that you're obsessed with about like to do with yourself so um yeah this is a project to do with myself that I'm working on and I can't wait for it. Work towards your goals, like then you'll have something to do with yourself that you're obsessed with. Not like self-obsessed, but you guys know what I'm on about. Okay, I need to stop talking, so be it, shush. <laughs> so that is the end of my list of 10 current obsessions. I promise that's the last time I'm gonna say this. 
Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me down below so that you can see more vids um, by me. And if you want to see more current obsession videos, then just let me know in the comments or by giving it a thumbs up, then I can refilm one maybe in a month or so or in a couple months and we can catch up and see if we have any of the same obsessions then. Don't forget to check out my socials, they'll be linked down below but I'll write it across the screen for you as well. My Instagram is Persian Bunny, my Twitter is The Persian Bunny and my Snapchat is Seppi Samai. I love you guys so much, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.